Hello and welcome to this fifth video of introductory statistics. And remember, we're still we're still using this great uh, open courseware slides. In the previous video, we introduced how one designs the step uh, to conduct a statistical study. Now we're going to see the different kinds of statistical studies. So what are the different types of statistical studies? First, uh, a study can be descriptive here or comparative. Now descriptive is you look at one group and you try to analyze this group. So in the previous examples, um, we were uh, talking about the average height of a population. So that's a descriptive study. We want to know something about the population. So another example is the surveys, you know, whether you like, I don't know, whether you like hamburgers or not, um, a poll, whether you're going to vote for a candidate or not. Another type of study is comparative study. So you're going to take two or more groups and you're going to compare them. Um, you're going to compare something between them. So, for example, you're going to see whether um, you know, you're going to teach, use different teaching methods in each group and you're going to measure something you know, you're going to compare the effectiveness of these different teaching methods. And then you're going to, you know, probably you're going to look at the exam test uh, results. And you're going to try to draw conclusions between these groups and therefore the teaching methods. Um, when clinical trials are typical comparative studies, right, because you you're going to you're going to use a, a, a medicine with one group and another one or no medicine with with another group and then you're going to look whether there's a difference or not well hopefully there is one another difference between uh, studies is whether they're experimental so in the experimental uh, mode investigator actively intervenes to control study condition to look at relationship between predictor and response so you know experimental is actually you're doing something um, to modify the experiment so in in the teaching methods you're, you're actually going to teach differently to two groups or you're going to, in the pharmaceutical industry, you're going to give different uh, medicine to different groups. So that's experimental. See, drug trial. That's exactly what we were talking about. Um, observational is you're recording the data without intervening. Right? So Typically, if, if, if you want to measure the average height of a population, uh, or you want you have two populations living in different neighborhoods, and you're making a, a comparative study between the average height of these average groups, then you're not doing anything. You're just recording the data. And so one very big difference between those two um, is that in the experimental, you're trying to establish a causation. So you're trying to say, because we did this, that happened, right? B because we teach differently, then they have different test results. Because we gave them different drugs, then one healed and the other didn't heal. In the observational, it's very hard to get this idea of causation right it's it's more association that you'll get we'll see later the difference between causation and association but causation is mainly something happened therefore something else will happen versus association is 
we often observe both at the same time, right? We often observe that that when this happens, that other thing happens, but we don't know whether uh, thing A caused thing B or not, or vice versa. So another way to, so observational studies, um, Observational studies can be cross-sectional. So they look at a sample at a single point in time, right? So if you have time here, then we look at that single point in time, right? You're making a survey now. It could be prospective. So for example, you're going to give uh, a drug to someone for 10 years and you're going to try to see what happens so you follow a sample it's called a cohort in that uh, in, in that uh, type of study because uh, it's a sample in time but it's expensive because you have to keep observing the data for a very long time so you know that's the second type the perspective and then you have the rest retrospective where you're going to look backwards and you're going to see well um, we have given a certain type of drugs to people for the last 20 years let's try to see what happened during these last 20 years so this is a you know sub category of the observational study and this gives you a you know very brief idea of how complex uh, studies can be because we can depending on what we're trying to do we can uh, have different studies and different ways to collect the data and in the next video we're going to see um, you know the the nightmare of statistics the errors and where do errors come from so stay tuned for the next video.